<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? Oh shit. That's right, throttle only right now, baby. Whoa, yeah. Uh -huh. um, this is gonna be the uh 500 and oh shit. Tight spaces here, tight spaces. 544.4 mile review, throttle only, backyard uh, extravaganza. Shit. <laughs> okay. All right, let's, let's get this thing on the road and see how we're doing it and go through what's been uh, happening with the bike in the last 500 and so miles. Let's do it. Ah, uh, let's park it here, right? Um, give you guys rundown, close up of the damages. Uh, I have wrecked it one time. Um, I don't know where I'm at in the frame here. <laughs> uh, let me get the part. Let's pause this. Hang on. So the only problem I've had with it so far was um, the controller, but uh, I reached out to him and it's still under warranty, right? They give you the one year. I might pay for the three next time, next bike. Um, Super easy to install. Anyways, I haven't had a problem with this one. The other one crapped out around 200 miles, so I think it was just faulty or whatever. It took me about half hour to install, not too complicated. The hardest part um, was just getting these wires in the tube oriented correctly. Other than that, it was pretty easy install. Uh, not too hard to figure out. Uh, if you're worried about doing it or looking for a tutorial, you can just start pulling the bolts off, um, pull the battery off. I did pull this little plastic piece off on the end here. Let's just get a closer look. We gotta look at the damages anyways on the bike. Whoops. Okay, so so yeah, you know, you'll pull these bolts off and then you pull this off here. I actually might not have to pull this guy off. Um I don't remember, but you, you'll figure it out once you once you get the wires. They all come in around the bottom, and then back into the tube here, and then they're all connected right here. So I pulled this off, and then after I was done, for some reason I was thinking maybe I don't need to pull it off, whatever. Um, but yeah, I haven't had a problem with this motor or motor um, controller at all. So I'm at 250 miles now. So I've I've gone you know like what you know. Uh, Almost 100 miles over the old controller. Um, this one's still running fine. It was kind of cutting out is what it was doing. So it, I thought it was like a throttle problem at first. But uh, it was the controller fixed it. It was done. Like I said, they shipped it out in two days after I got a hold of them. Um, you know, it may take a little longer for you, but that was pretty quick turnover. So I really appreciate that aerial rider. Um, as far as damages, so I wrecked it on the ice on the road. <laughs> and... Uh, the tire was kind of wobbly, so I just took it to REI. Uh, I got like a lifetime membership there, and it was like $21 or something like that. And then they retrued the wheel, and the wobble's gone, so that works. Brakes and everything still stocked. Haven't changed any brakes on it. Um, what else? The chain needs clean. <clears throat> Starting to get a little rust on the chain. So... Uh, if you guys know any cool chain cleaners, I've been looking into them. Uh, let me know down in the description so I know which one to pick up that's any good if you guys have any preferences. Because I definitely need to do that. It's feeling pretty bone dry. If you can grab it like that, and yeah. I mean, it looks like there's a lot on there, but it feels pretty dry. Now i got to wash my hands. Um, and let's see. I got a little bit of damages around here. I think I hit the sprocket on a rock once. Let's check. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. Is that a scuff? No, it's just dirt. Oh, man, I thought it was worse than it was, but... Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Crazy, okay. Um, so, yeah, you know, I've wrecked it a couple times. Not too bad. I'm um, doing wheelies and stuff. Uh, you will hit this if you go a little too far. Just so you know, that's how I uh, crack my basket also, doing wheelies. <laughs> no, I will not show you a wheelie because uh, I suck at them. <laughs> uh battery still going super strong love it um haven't had any problems with it at all trico brakes still super good mm, there's the miles on there oh just shut off on me 
bro. Really? Great timing. <clears throat> so, yeah, you just keep it in pedal assist three, just where I like to start. You can set it uh, where to start in the menu. I still got the plastic screen cover on here. <laughs> As you can see, it's kind of scuffed. So, yeah, but I bought some poly watch. So I'm probably just going to pull that off because if it does get scratched, the poly watch uh, will take it out. If you guys want to know where and what that is, uh, let me know. And uh, it's great stuff. I use it on my VR headsets. If you guys don't know, I do love VR. Uh, let's fucking take this bitch out and uh, go for a cruise, right? All right, so here we are on the trail. Uh, so about the seat, uh, I've had this seat um, on my videos. If you just go to my channel, you'll see a thumbnail that says squishy. Anyways, I've had this seat for about the whole entire life of the bike. You know, I think I got it like a week after I got the bike, something like that. And it has stood up. There's no tears, no rips, no nothing. So over 500 miles of riding on that seat, this seat. It is super comfortable, super amazing. I love this seat. It saved my back. It saved my butt. saves everything. I got the zoom seat post also, which is super helpful. Super duper duper helpful. So I love it. Um, howdy. Anyways, so seat post is great. Seat is great. Uh, lasted over 500 miles. Love those. Uh, scooter. Oh my gosh. And hmm. Uh, hopefully my camera's not too shaky. I do have it mounted on the front with the shocks and everything. Howdy. <laughs> and uh. Yeah, it's looking a little shaky. It keeps falling down, too. I might have to uh, figure something out about this. It's annoying. Anyways. <laughs> Let's adjust it here. Try to snug it up or something. Maybe I should just, like, zip tie it down or something. Bungee cord? Little rubber band? Hair tie? I don't know. I'll figure something out here. <laughs> Anyways. So... Uh, the bike's great. If you're thinking about buying uh, one of these bikes, I must say in advance, if you do not like um, fun at all, and you got like a problem with fun, you should probably stay away from this bike, because um, it might induce some fun, and uh, it's quite enjoyable. <laughs> like literally, you can just throttle only this bike. Like, it is amazing. I mean, I pedal. It's a heavy bike, so you definitely get a workout when you're pedaling this bike. Uh, like I said, I run on Pedal Assist 3. I got mine set to like 20 miles an hour or something like that. So um, with the 7-speed shifter or whatever, I think I'm in gear 6. And it's a hefty workout for my legs. Uh, I can crank it up to one more for... Oh my god, is this my camera being stupid? There we go. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Uh, so I can crank it up to uh, four also, and then I think that gets me up to like 25, 26, I don't remember. And uh, it, it's not so much of a workout for my legs, uh, but I'm still pedaling, and it's good, and I enjoy it. Uh, like I said, you can just throttle only. Uh, steeper hills, you will have to pedal, but it's not like enduro style pedaling up a hill, you know. You just gotta help it up, and it'll go right up the hill. So uh, I do do some steep hills. This is a really flat trail I'm driving here. This is like one of the flattest trails I've got because I'm testing out the bumpiness of the camera. So hopefully the bumps aren't too bad. Maybe um, if GoPro wants to sponsor me and send me a GoPro, I would love it. <laughs> or one of you guys, <laughs> please <laughs> help a guy out, you know. So I would have gotten more videos put out, uh, but like the back problems I'm dealing with, I got degenerative disc disease. I've like one of my uh, discs is like almost gone. I've got arthritis in my back and my upper and lower back. So, you know, I need the cushion and the spring seat and all that stuff. So that has helped. And oh my God, my camera is ridiculous. There we go. We got to turn around right here anyways. Getting towards the end of the trail. Look at that beautiful river. Riding right next to the river. Oh my god, and it smells so good out here. You will not believe how good it smells. It's been it's been raining at night for the last couple days. Not a lot of rain, you know, just enough to kind of wet everything. But the smell in the air is so amazing. I mean, in the flowies, it's so nice. Love it. 
beautiful. It smells great out here. It's nice just to get out and cruise, you know? Sometimes you're just like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to do anything. Uh, just get on your bike, <laughs> you know? Put some tunes in, you know? I've got uh, some Alexa earbuds. Uh, they're super nice. They do the noise cancellation and all that stuff. I love them so much. Uh, and you can also turn it so you hear the noise. And then you can hear everything around you while you're just jamming out. So that's super cool too. Should do a review on those. Because I got a cheap pair that I love because ju they just connect right up. And then I have the Alexa ones that are uh, really good. And, uh, um, but sometimes, you know, I don't know. They just, it's a pain in the butt to connect. <laughs> sometimes. Hmm. What else? What else can we talk about? Um, yeah. So, sorry I didn't post a whole lot of videos about this bike. There's not too much to say about it. I mean, it's a great, great bike. I love the hell out of it. Uh, it's my commuter to work. Uh, I drove it in the winter. And I drove it uh, to a couple jobs that I had to do. Job sites, you know, areas I was working. And uh, that's when I crashed it in the winter. Uh, tearing, taking a right turn on the road. Because, like, the whole road was just completely black ice. And I went to stop and kind of turn a little bit at the same time. And the whole bike just slid out from under me. And just my coffee went everywhere. My my freaking backpack blew out the back. I broke my mirror off. Uh, the tire was wobbly afterwards. <laughs> handlebars were bent, you know. But that, I just loosened them up and straightened the handlebars. That was no problem. That was uh, fun, you know. Jam my knee up. Good times. So, yeah, and then um, they blocked off one of the trails I take, you know, it's a bike path like this. Uh, they were doing some kind of, like, party area, and they blocked it off. So, um, instead of just taking the long route, uh, I decided to, like, go through the rocky wooded area. And that's when I kind of popped up on a rock and uh, jammed my sprocket. Look at this goose! Oh my god, we gotta check this goose out. Look at this goose. Let's see. Oh. There's Mr. Goosey. What's up, little goose? He's so cute. Look at this cute little goose. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack. <laughs> he loves us. You see that? He heard us. He knows what's up. All right. Go back. Yep. Good times riding, though. Oh, man. Let the good times roll. Just nothing like the wind in your long, luscious locks. You know, I mean, tell me what you think about my haircut. I love it. You know, the wind in my in my beautiful mane is feels so good. I should probably have a helmet, honestly. Half the time I think I need a helmet. I just can't. I don't know those. I think they look cool. The guys running around on the bike trails with their bike, with their motorcycle helmets. They look cool. But I just don't know. I'm just too self-conscious and nervous. Even talking on the road or while I'm filming, I'm just shy and embarrassed. I'm a pretty shy dude. So, yeah. There's that. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, now that I've revealed something about myself. Oh, my God. Uh... <laughs> It's a beautiful area though. I love this ride. It's a nice ride. Not too windy today either. So that's good. <clears throat> Probably gonna crank on some music in the After Effects to get rid of uh, all the wind noise. We'll see. Hopefully the ride's not too bumpy for you guys. If it is, uh, let me know. Good way to film on my bike. That'd be great. Um, yeah, sponsor. Maybe I'll give you a shout out. I do check my comments, you know. Not like every day, but I check them and I like them and whatnot. So if I like your comment, then you know I've read it. I don't just go click in comments because I don't get that many anyways. So, <laughs> yeah. And I know I get a lot of negative ones, you know. But, you know, you can't please everybody, you know. And everyone says I'm biased and everything, but um, this is my third e-bike. I should do a review on another one. I also um, built another e-bike for a friend, a hay bike. Didn't like it. It was just a cheap piece of crap. Um, I know they have different models. This was like their step through, whatever, 750 watt, 
Where it just felt so cheap. I mean, I'm used to the aerial rider, so like when I get on an e-bike, if it doesn't feel tight and sturdy like the aerial rider, to me it just it feels like garbage. So yeah, jumping on the hay bike versus the aerial rider, it was night and day, you know, total night and day as far as like braking, power, um, just sturdiness of the overall bike build. You know, it, like the aerial rider definitely blew it out of the water. But the hay bike is cheaper, you know, I think they're like 16, 1800 bucks. So you do get what you pay for, you know. Sometimes you get lucky and you get something cheap that's a good deal, you know. But aerial rider is just a premium brand. You know, they're definitely a premium brand. It's a great bike. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Like I said, uh, uh, apparently not everyone had the same problem with the controller that I did. I did crank my controller up to like the max amperage and max speed and all that stuff. Um, so, uh, you know, it would go like 36. So now I've got it set, uh, I think, just to 35 and I didn't crank up the amps all the way. I don't know what I got it set up to, but because I don't remember because it was a while back after I got my new controller, but I just didn't max it out. Last time I maxed it out. I don't know if that was a problem or if they've updated their controllers. So hopefully they updated their controller. But like I said, this one has uh, been on, um, you know, over 250 miles. So, yeah, hopefully uh, yeah, no more problems with it. Yeah, and I will definitely keep you updated, you know, and post a video uh, if it breaks again. But yeah, uh, so the one year warranty is what comes stock with the Aerial Rider. So yeah, they sent it out for free and they sent it out fast. So I appreciate that. I love it. <clears throat> so yeah, keep that in mind too. If you do get an e-bike, um, maybe start with a super duper cheap one. Uh, that way you've got a backup e-bike because um, those two days or three days, I guess, or four days, whatever it was, I was out of the controller because, you know, I didn't know what was going wrong with it. And, um, I mean, it was still rideable, but I didn't want to chance it there for a couple days just because what if it shut off, you know, that I'm just pedaling and after working eight hours, I'm tired and I have hills on my way home. So I've tried mountain biking it with like a light, you know, 30 pound mountain bike. And it is just such a leg workout, back workout, and everything. Um, so, where am I going with this? Uh, so, you know, if you do start with a cheap one, then you have a backup bike that you can keep. So, like, if something happens, you know, and you can use it for a commuter. I mean, you can probably drive your car if you got a car, but, you know, if you don't have to and you got, like, a backup e-bike, then you're good to go, you know. And I had that little cheap uh, Vivi that you've seen on my channel. So, I drove that for a couple days. To work <clears throat> and it got the job done you know at least i didn't have to full bore up and down the hills uh <laughs> after work <laughs> so right on um i guess this is the end guys we're home there's my project car the uh convertible the the top works it's a chrysler 2000 model <laughs> little project car <laughs> Uh, it had this big plastic bra on it. I had to heat up and uh, scrape off. It was a pain in the butt. But we got her done. Yippers. There's the Smart for two. Eco Smart. There's my wife's bike. We're getting her tire done. The TS Go. Let me know if you want to see a review on that. I'll probably do one anyways. Uh, there's my license plate. That's it's probably bad for me to show that. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll cut this part out. Peace, y'all. This is Eamon. Voice recorded in the future because his audio didn't work. And uh, please like and subscribe. And don't judge me for the audio problem. <laughs> uh, thank you for tuning in. Love it. Um, get your at butts on your bikes. Have a good time. Peace out. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> it's your boy. 
Booyah, Aerial Rider. What do we have? 544 mile review. Let's do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Booyah. 